Who is Wise? By Newness of Life Ministries www.trcb.me slash no until I come, give attention to the public reading of scripture, to exhortation and teaching. Colossians 3, 12-13 Time after time, I have taught people the rules of chess and how each piece moves on the chess board, only to have them get upset when they lose a few games. Somehow people feel that if they simply know a little, that it qualifies them to play well. Chess is a lifetime game. It requires years of practice, reading and studying the games of masters before you become proficient enough to beat good chess players. It cannot be conquered in an afternoon. The same is true of any endeavor. To enjoy it, to accomplish something in it, to contribute to it, to be recognized as an expert in it, you must sacrifice and put all of your effort into it. Words from the mouth of a wise man are gracious, while the lips of a fool consume him. The beginning of his talking is folly, and the end of it is wicked madness. Yet the fool multiplies words. No man knows what will happen, and who can tell him what will come after him. Ecclesiastes 10, 12-14 your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. Proverbs 18, teaches us today. Proverbs 18, 1-31, He who separates himself seeks his own desire, he quarrels against all sound wisdom. 2, a fool does not delight in understanding, but only in revealing his own mind. 3, when a wicked man comes, contempt also comes, and with dishonor comes reproach. Psalm 8 to 2 theme, man's place in God's world too, from the mouth of infants and nursing babes thou hast established strength, because of thine adversaries, to make the enemy and the revengeful cease. Today's question. Does wisdom come with age? Wisdom primarily comes from the acquisition of knowledge. Knowledge can be obtained through study, learning from others and actually participating in an experience. When it comes to understanding the wisdom of God it takes more. It takes the involvement of the Holy Spirit along with a love for learning God's word to acquire godly wisdom. God provides an extra measure of his wisdom to people he has gifted to receive it. The fool delights in his own understanding. They are not concerned with truth and will say most anything including exaggeration, lies and thoughts that come from other fools including those influenced by the evil one. They follow those that tickle their ears. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate for themselves teachers in accordance to their own desires. And will turn away their ears from the truth, and will turn aside to myths. 2 Timothy 4, 3-4 So we should strive to be unlike those that speak without knowledge. Those that lead with evil objectives. We should avoid the contemptuous person that bring dishonor to God. But rather, arise each day with the goal of becoming wiser. There are many things God wants to teach each of us. We can begin by humbling ourselves and asking God during our morning prayers, Odd, what are we going to learn today? Therefore I esteem right all thy precepts concerning everything, I hate every false way. The unfolding of thy words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Psalm 119 to 128130 Dear God, to strive for wisdom is to strive to be more like you. God, what are we going to learn today? Amen. The Newness of Life Daily Bible Message is designed for those who like to take a short respite from the day's responsibilities to enjoy the contemplation of God's Word. This daily message is based primarily upon the belief that to read some of Proverbs and some of Psalm every day will provide us with great spiritual growth and development when done consistently with discipline. Philip Saxton and contribute to Newness of Life Ministries NOL Philip Saxton, www.newnessoflife.com Bill it can be reached at saxtonatemetown.com. Music by Kevin McLeod.